All right, so November 22, uh, 22, November 8, 2022. And today I am going to talk about good decisions, bad decisions. So tomorrow on November 9, uh, I will celebrate 31 years clean, <clears throat> meaning drug and alcohol free. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about obviously how that has made my life immeasurably better, but I also want to point out, um, you know, why, you know, wh where that came from. So I've made some good decisions in my life. I've made several questionable and outright bad decisions, but of course, uh, marrying my wife, uh, Lorraine, uh, has to be right up there on the uh, list of things to do uh, correctly. And uh, blessings, place the things to do correct. I'm really tired today, so that's rambling. Has to be right up there. And, and I somewhat argue that it's the best thing I ever did. But then I back up and I go, well, um, she never would have uh, really given me the time of day if I was still uh, using drugs. So the argument could be that uh, the best thing I ever did was quit using drugs, because that, of course, created a domino effect that eventually led to many other good things, career-wise as well as personal-wise, obviously health-wise. But even before uh, quitting drugs, I started exercising. So I want to talk a little bit about how exercising got me on the right path uh, towards changing my life. And even going back, sometimes you make good decisions for the wrong reasons. But I think when I first started exercising, a big uh, motivator for me was just outright vanity. And, you know, it wasn't, you know, still say exercise to be healthy and all those good things, but I just wanted to look better. And I thought that, you know, this would make me sort of uh, cool, more acceptable by, you know, being in better shape and all this type of thing. So in defense of vanity, whatever gets you to the gym, uh, and gets you exercising and making good decisions, good, because I remember one time uh, a friend of mine who sadly has since passed away, uh, he was seeing that I had started working out and exercising, but I was still using drugs regularly, and he said something to me that really struck a note with me. He says, Rick, you're building a house in the daytime, you're going out and tearing it down at night. And I realized it was a conflict that doing exercise and doing drugs was obviously uh, a contradiction. So that's what led me to eventually want to stop using drugs. And after many tried, failed attempts, uh, periods of temporary abstinence, followed by going back, I eventually went to a 12 step program and was able to, uh, on November 9, uh, 1991, actually, my first meeting was October 15, but I never stopped completely until November 9, was able to. Stop. So exercise, starting to exercise, even if for the wrong reasons, arguably changed my life in many more ways than just getting in shape. It started me along the path of wanting to improve myself physically, but then later on with the drugs. And of course, that as I left that, I decided to pursue a new career. I was able to eventually meet and marry the woman of my dreams. And here I am today. So uh, on November 9th tomorrow, as I think about uh, the time that I've had clean and grateful for that, just the reflections on just how when you make one decision in life and you may take one action, good or bad, as Tony Robbins said, it's like dropping a, a stone into a pool of water. There's waves that happen and it affects different things all the way through. Anyways, thank you for listening. If you stuck with me this far thank you for sharing thank you for subscribing all those are greatly appreciated bye for now